Hello, this is Steve Jacobs with Apps for Android. In this video I'll be demonstrating how Near Field Communications technology, often referred to as NFC, can be used to simplify user interfaces and enhance the accessibility of NFC-enabled mobile devices. What you're looking at is the NFC Forum trademark symbol for Near Field Communications. NFC. So the consumers can easily identify where their NFC enabled devices can be used. It, it's a stylized N that has two meanings. Uh, the first, it lets consumers know that NFC services are available on posters, signs, badges, labels, and so on. It indicates where to touch to enable NFC services. And when it appears on a device, it is an indication that that device has passed NFC Forum certification testing. Mainstream uses for NFC technology include activities such as sharing, pairing, conducting transactions between NFC enabled devices and many other things. By simply touching an NFC enabled smartphone like the Nexus S pictured here to another NFC enabled smartphone, you can share contact information, photos, songs, applications, and videos. You can touch an NFC tag to an NFC enabled smartphone to automatically pair it with a multitude of input and output devices. The biggest mainstream use for NFC is mobile commerce and contactless payments. One example of this is Google Wallet. Google Wallet is an Android app that turns shoppers' phones into a wallet, making in-store one-tap payments quick and easy. Google Wallet also brings together online and offline shopping. It will eventually hold many, if not all, the cards you keep in your physical purses and wallets today. And because Google Wallet is a mobile app, it will be able to do more than a regular wallet ever could, like storing payment cards, loyalty cards, gift cards, receipts, boarding passes, tickets, even your car keys. What you are now looking at are the apps for Android's customized NFC tags. There are nine in all. We're going to use them for the demos you're going to see in about a minute. Keep in mind that NFC tags do not have to look like the ones we'll be using. They can be incorporated into many items, thereby making them invisible to the casual observer. Here are a series of photos depicting what I refer to. Now, on with the demos. You saw earlier in this video pictures of Apps for Android's near field communication tags. I'll bring one into the field of vision so that you can see it. We're simply going to insert these tags behind the phone, and the phone is going to do different things. For example, if we wanted to change accessibility settings, We'll just move this tag behind the phone and we bring up accessibility settings. accessibility settings, which we're not going to touch. I'm going to go back to the home screen. Next, let's see if we can turn on the camera. Now the phone is flat against a surface, so you're not going to see anything in the camera, but you will see the NFT to NFC tag toggle the phone into camera mode. Launcher, camera. And now I'll turn the Clicked. camera off. Clicked. After taking a picture of absolutely nothing. Launcher. Let's now call voicemail with another tag. Enter your passcode, then press pound. Click. 
and I'll end the call. Next, let's take a look at enabling a hotspot. We'll go back to the home screen. Launcher. And if you're in a restaurant and you want to enable somebody to use your hotspot, give them your business card with an NFC tag on the back and they can connect just like this. We just turned on the hotspot. We'll show that to you one more time. Portable hotspot enabled hotspot tethering or hotspot active. Now we'll turn it off and go back Launcher. to the home screen. Launcher. Next. How about listening to some favorite music? Launcher. We'll give Pandora. Pandora a second to load and let's see what song it plays. I don't want to go beyond fair use policy, so we'll just give you a few seconds of music. I don't have Wi-Fi enabled in the room that I'm in, but if you look across the top of the phone, you will see that one uh, pass of this NFC tag will turn on Wi-Fi. Another pass of the same tag will turn it off. So in other words, an NFC tag can have two functions. Here we go. Wi-Fi on. Wi-Fi off. From an accessibility standpoint, we can kick a phone into accessibility mode. Here's another tag. We're now in the eyes free shell. We can get information about the phone by just touching the touch screen and moving your finger in different directions. For example, battery 79% charging. Time 4:15 p.m. July 15th. Signal Sprint, Mobile Data Network, GPS. Applications, Voicemail. Dialing Voicemail. Please enter your passcode, then press clicked phone. Launcher. And now we'll exit the Eyes Free Shell mode. Let's look at an accessible dialer. This is designed for individuals. Oh, actually, this is the compass. West, west, southwest. So the phone is pointing west southwest. west, southwest. I can't rotate the phone because I have it positioned for this video, but as I rotate the phone and I touch the screen, you will hear different directions. Launcher. Let's now activate the talking dialer. In this dialer, rather than your finger having to touch a button, the button finds your finger. Wherever I touch the screen, a 5 will appear. And it's intuitively obvious how to use the interface once I begin using it. Five. Five. Three. Five. Two. Five. Nine. Five. If I make a mistake, five, four, backspace, four deleted. And let me enter the rest of the phone number. Five, three, five, six, five, four, five, eight, zero. 
And now, let's see if I could hear what number we're about to dial before we dial it, so I make sure I don't get the wrong number. You are about to dial 5329-3640. That doesn't look like too good of a number, but let's dial it anyhow. and we'll hang up and go back to the main screen. We can also, let's say we want to change the wallpaper. This is just a small example of the many hundreds of commands you can issue to a smartphone by simply passing an NFC tag across the back of the phone. So the uh, potential applications are almost endless. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed this demo. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.